This is not a paid advertisement, but this is a review that will basically just talk a little bit about the Kotec BHT-01 ear pods. Now, they call them the true wireless earbuds, right? So, obviously, these are designed similar to the Apple AirPods. Um, right here, I have a pair of Apple earbuds with the lightning connector specifically. And uh, you can find these on Amazon, and they are about $30. Now, first of all, what are the main things to understand? They pretty much work functionally exactly like the Apple AirPods do. They have a five-hour battery um, when you compare both ears because basically you're talking about um, two earbuds that have small batteries and then you have a 400 milliamp battery within the actual charging case. So basically these are designed exactly like the AirPods. The only difference is how much they're going to cost you. So the Apple, let's see, Apple... If you go to Apple's website, you can clearly see that Apple's, uh, let's see, Apple's AirPods, let's see how much they are, because I forget how much they are. Let's, where, where do I got to go? Music? Okay, so they have the AirPods Max, which are $550. Okay, we're not doing that. They've got the AirPods Pro, um, which is basically what these are designed to be more like. Um, and these are $250 for the AirPod Pro, $250. And, um, you, these are things you already pretty much, uh, you already pretty much know, um, that they exist and whatnot. They, the AirPods Pro give you up to 4.5 hours of listening time. So basically what we're talking about is a maximum amount of usage time of about five hours. But they're saying 4.5 hours of listening time on a single charge up to five hours with active noise cancellation and transparency off. So you have to obviously turn off features of it in order to get the maximum battery life. And then obviously there are the last ones. There are the original AirPods, but this is like the second generation. I believe that the third generation is coming out this year. And uh, they're asking $199 for them with the wireless charging case. And they're also asking $159 for the Apple AirPods with the regular charging case. Unfortunately, the Apple AirPower mat never became a reality. So just being able to take your phone and take your AirPods or AirPods and lay them on the mat and let them charge automatically, that never became a reality, which is actually very disappointing. Of course, there are other wireless charging solutions that exist. For example, uh, a regular Qi charger with uh, most of these desks that have wireless charging pads built in will charge these things no problem. So those are the AirPods. But now we return to the Kotex. These are $30 and they're giving you the same amount of time, roughly five hours. So first of all, let me just give you my opinion number one. So, as you can see, these are the Kotex right there. As soon as you open the case, the uh, ear pods are activated. On my screen, on my phone, I can see BHT01s are connected. If I were to close it, um, they can be deactivated within your software. These come with a USB-C charging port. So, if you're a person who has like a non-iPhone, like you got a Galaxy phone that has a USB-C charging port, or you have an Apple MacBook Pro or something that uses USB-C, you'll already have a USB-C cable with you. Personally, I am slowly shifting towards USB-C on certain things, but because my iPhone is a lightning cable and they're not going to change to USB-C anytime soon, simply because lightning brings in so much revenue, Chances are I'll be always carrying some type of USB-C port, which brings me to this. A while ago, Kotec sent me a sample of their 100-watt GAN charger. And uh, I've been using it for a while. In fact, I've been using it basically every single day to uh, fast charge my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I believe I was also using it on my iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max, if that's what they called it back then. I can't even remember. But uh, this has been a very good charger. I've never had any problems with it. As you can see, it uses uh, dual USB ports for USB-C. 
and uh, I have two cables plugged into it. One of them is a um, USB-C to um, lightning cable that I got off of eBay. And the other one is a Kotec, another Kotec product, a Kotec branded USB-C cable. So this product is just another one that I received in the mail because my friends at Kotec gave me also a uh, USB-C port replicator, which I'm gonna review with my Alienware gaming laptop. And obviously they gave me these headphones, the BHT-01s. This comes with a mini USB-C charging cable, a very small one. This is, it's like a no frills USB-C charging cable. And this can come in handy if you have any devices that you'd like to keep a USB-C cable around for. And they also came with a few replacement ear pads. So they have small, medium, and large. As soon as I got this out of the package, I immediately switched from small to large. Because I have large ears and I don't like anything being able to fall out of my ears. Which is exactly the reason why I've never actually used the Apple EarPods. The problem that I always had with the Apple EarPods is because of the shape of these things... I've never been able to get the appropriate fit out of these. So basically, I keep these around just in case I ever am sitting around at home and I need to plug up my phone and use the mic. But I don't use these ever in uh, the street, and I certainly wouldn't use these in the gym. Despite the fact that they're a nice set of headphones, I just I don't bother using them. Now... Because of the fact that I refuse to pay Apple's prices, I went out and bought a pair of Jib Pluses. Jib Plus. And these came from CVS. I've been basically evaluating these. I got these for about $25. And um, base response is pretty good on them. They will give you um, a charge that will last for continuous use up to about six hours on their battery. And unlike both the Kotec and the Apple AirPods, these actually have volume up and volume down built in. These were $25. These have a regular around-the-neck strap, and they have a, a, a small weight in order to help keep them centered on the neck. So they have a weight there, and then they have a weight here, and while you're moving around, that helps them keep centered on the neck. So these were the Jib Pluses, and these were just 25 bucks at CVS. Skull Candy, they, that's the company that makes them, Jib Plus Skull Candies. I actually really like these headphones because they're very small. They're very unobtrusive if you're using a treadmill, but I do have a problem with them. When you're on the weight bench and you do an Olympic uh, weight benching, the problem that I have is that the wire can sometimes start dragging off the back of your head while you're laying prone. And because the wire starts pulling backwards, a lot of times they'll fall out. Now, sometimes when you have your mask on at the gym, you can use the mask uh, ear loop in order to help secure them around the head. But the problem is that doesn't always work perfectly. And just having a wire, a wire at all, gets in the way. I always kind of wanted a set of these, but I was never going to pay Apple their money. I was never going to pay $200 for a pair of headphones, especially with the possibility of losing them. And I think it's also important to note that when the Apple AirPod first came out, everybody derided them and said, oh, well, what if I lose it? And if I lose it, it's like, you know, that's $100 down the drain and everything. And then it's really funny because Apple was the first company to bring out this design. And then suddenly everybody copied the AirPod design. So now Galaxy Samsung has their Galaxy Buds, whatever they call them. It really doesn't matter. And everybody else has theirs. JVC makes them. Then if you go to the drugstores, you see really cheap versions for $20. Everybody has a pair. So, um... Basically, as you can see, build quality is white and it's minimalistic, which is exactly what Apple has always built. So Kotex designers for these AirPods, the, these are basically designed in the exact same vein as the AirPod Pro. And that's actually the reason why I actually like this. 
it's because the AirPod Pro is $250 for roughly the exact same performance and product. The only difference is how they link up to your iPhone or your iPad. These, obviously these use USB-C, you plug them in, they reach a full charge very quickly. But the downside is it's the case that reaches a charge quickly and then these are charging along with the case. As you start to use these, you if you run low on battery, you have to take them out, obviously put them in the case and you have to recharge them. For some people, that's not a problem. Most people usually would not be using headphones for more than a few hours at a time. And putting them away effectively charges them, which is really a good thing. So the same exact feel, fit, and finish of the Apple product is pretty much existing right here. Th this has a magnetic holder for these. So when you put them in there, if you turn it upside down, they won't fall out. The case snaps shut almost the exact same way. And, um, I'm pretty sure these are licensed. So because these are licensed, um, you know, Apple can't sue them and say, hey, uh, you're ripping off our iPod Pros and you're doing a better job of it for less money, for a lot less money. I mean, these things are $30 instead of $250. I was never going to pay that kind of money. Like, here I am. I'll I'm willing to spend $1,600 for a phone and I'm willing to spend, what, um, 400 or whatever it is for Apple Watch. But there's no way in hell I was ever going to pay Apple uh, $250 for the AirPod Pros. Now, I always liked the design because they're earbuds rather than than being these, these, these flat designs like this. I never liked this. But I do like the fact that these designs are uh, the way that they are. Now, um, what I can say is I listened to some music using these, and they sound really good. I was listening to a couple of bass-heavy... Uh, uh, beats on uh, YouTube, for instance, uh, Skinny Pimp, Ride Out, and then I was also watching a couple of shows on HBO Max, Babylon 5. They are exactly what you expect. I mean, there, it's the, the sound quality isn't like groundbreaking or the bass uh, punch isn't extremely uh, punchy, but the bass is there. It's a decent amount of bass. I can't demonstrate that for you here because not only can't I demonstrate it because of the form factor, but on top of that, I can't demonstrate it because of the copyright infringements that I would get. But what I can say is the bass is good. The sound quality is good. Uh, sending and receiving a call sounds fine, sounds natural. And from what I heard, there was no feedback. Sometimes you have these cheap headphones and they give you feedback when you're like, let's say you're trying to do a Zoom call. Sometimes people's headphones, they have this little uh, feedback that, that, that sounds like a, a ringing. Yeah, well, I didn't experience that with these. So pairing them is very, very simple. All you do is you touch the uh, on button at the very edge at the circle is an on button. So all you got to do is touch that and uh, you hold it. And then that basically signals these things to do whatever they're going to do. And... Um, Basically, you can turn them off by pushing and holding. But for the most part, they work as advertised, no issues. And um, it's as simple as you can possibly get. This is the left and this is the right. Now, Apple has a replacement program just in case you lose one. So, you know, that's something worth considering. Uh, but with Kotec, just in case you're not losing these things... I mean, they're so cheap that it's easy to simply just replace them. So I'd have to say that thanks to the low, low price and the uh, comparatively good performance, as you can see, these got four and a half stars pretty much right here. I would have to say that out of 114 ratings to get four and a half stars is actually pretty good. So um, once again, I really like these. I'm glad that I got them because I was never going to spend the money to buy them. And uh, Kotec, once again, has uh, given me a really great product that I'm happy to share with you. And hopefully, if you're considering buying a pair of these things, especially if you're buying them for kids, 
hopefully you'll consider the low, low price of $30 instead of, uh, you know, spending $250 for them. And if you have one child who, who, who demands Apple products, what I would do is I'd scratch that coat tech off there and I'd draw an Apple on there and say, listen, kid, when you get a job, that's when you get to tell me what I have to buy. So that's basically all I wanted to say. So, um, Thank you, Code Tech. Thank you once again. I'm really loving and enjoying the products that you've sent me. And I really, really enjoy this 100-watt uh, GAN charger. I really love so that. Now let's fast forward to uh, January 9th, 2022. So as you saw, I did that full review of the Skull, can with the, well, what was it? The Jib Plus model which was wired and then i also did that review in order to show you the kotec headphones now here's the thing i just had to go out to bj's now bj's had these uh skull candy dime true wireless earbuds and they were running a sale on them the sale actually ended um just now however this model of a uh, headphone you can actually get on um the online like you can get them from walmart for about 26 dollars. they may even have different colors and you can also get um them from ebay you can also get them from amazon now normally i shop on ebay i usually don't shop on amazon so these are not very expensive headphones and um what happened to me was my kotex that you saw that i already showed you to review i put them somewhere, I, I had them in the case, I put them somewhere, and I have no idea where I put them. So they may turn up, but in the meantime, I needed another pair of wireless earbuds. This was always one of the reasons why I never wanted to buy Apple's brand, because I figured those things cost so much that you're, I mean, if I'm gonna pay you $200 for these things, that if I lost them, I would feel like a real idiot for losing them because it, it's it's almost expected that you're going to lose these things. First of all, if if something brushes by your ear or your hat, these things can easily just get knocked right out of your ear and they could fall down a drain, they could get run over by a car, they could get stepped on, so forth and so on. In fact, I've actually found people's um, uh, Apple headphones because they just lost, they left them. They're like they forgot and they left them somewhere. You know, I, I gave them back. But the thing about it is it's like so easy to lose these things. I wasn't willing to pay a lot of money for them. Now, at the time of this review I made, these Kotec headphones were $29.98. I would say that less than $40, at the most $50 is as much as you should really pay for these things. I mean... I really don't see the necessity of spending top dollar for this stuff. There are some people who badge whore and have to buy the Apple brand or they have to buy the Samsung brand. But my thing is, considering how easy these things are to lose and considering the compromises in design that you make to buy these, it's like I really just didn't feel that, you know, it was worth spending this much. I should also mention this. Not only did I misplace my Kotex, but I also misplaced my Jib Plus. And I have to say, the Jib Plus model was really, really good, and I really, really liked it. And uh, the problem was, sometimes I, you know, I, I'd leave them in my car, and I think what happened was, I think my father was in the car, or maybe my girlfriend was in the car, and I think... These things might have snagged onto their clothes or something, and they might have dragged them out of the car with them, and they might have dropped and fell somewhere. Now, I really did like these jibs because uh, these had a very good battery. I loved the fact that they weren't twin beam design headphones. So even though you could put one in one ear, one in the other ear with the Kotex or with the Apples, I was actually preferring the fact that these things are wired, so this way it's harder to lose them. You know, it, but naturally, you know, I ended up misplacing them. So I, and I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't my fault per se. I'm really sure that somebody must have snagged onto them while they were in my car and they must have gotten dragged out of one of my cars. I really don't know exactly what happened. But yeah, right now, both of these headphones are missing in action. Hopefully they pop up. They, I mean, they might be in a bag somewhere. I just don't know. I'm going to keep looking for them. Hopefully I find them. But that's not what I'm talking about right now what i'm talking about right now is these skull candies they're called the dimes 
If you go to BJ's, you might be able to get these um, and they might still be on sale if they're not sold out because the first BJ's I went to was sold out. I had to go to a different BJ's about 10 miles away. And um, they had a sale on them. I think they came out to about $27 or something with tax. And um, basically the jib pluses, in my opinion, were still probably my favorite pair of inexpensive wireless earbuds. Um, I got those at a CVS, I think, for like $25, if, if that much. I think it was about $25, give or take. No matter what, I'm basically spending less than $30 for these things a pop. Hopefully, I hold on to these a little bit longer. So what do they promise you? And you've, you may have already seen a review or you may be interested in getting some of these things. So I'm not going to make this very long, but I'm kind of comparing these against the Jib Plus and against the um, Kotex. 12 hours total battery. They claim that there's 8.5 hours worth of battery life in the case itself once it has a full charge. Then inside the case are the headphones, and they claim that the headphones themselves will last up to 3.5 hours per charge. So when you add 3.5, you add 8.5, you get 12. Now, is that deceptive? To me, I think that might be considered deceptive to some extent because even though you can add 3.5 and 8.5 and get 12, the reality is most people would probably think the case itself can, you know, recharge these things for up to 12 hours. But again, that's one of the reasons why I really preferred a, a wired design like the jibs because when it's sharing, when both sides are sharing their power from a common battery, you don't run into a situation where one of the sides decides that it's, you know, battery is bottoming out and the other side is still going okay. And then that necessitates you having to take one side out of your ear and put it back in the case and charge it while the other side is, is going strong, but you wanted to listen to music, so you can't. Now, there was another problem I actually had with the Kotex that I don't have with these Skull Candies. One of the issues that I had with the Kotex was that the button that was in the side, there's a hidden button right here and there's a hidden button right here. The Kotex had the hidden button right in the actual uh, the lettering. Um, and I had a problem with that because the problem was if you accidentally push this area right here or this area right here, that would cause your music to either stop and pause or if pushed hard enough, it would turn one side off and it would cause you to have to take it and push it and squeeze it really hard to get that side to come back on. The other problem was these beams that are coming out of these things were so long until um, it was easy to knock them out of your ears if you're wearing a hat or if, you know, or if something brushes by your ear, which happens more than you'd imagine, especially if you're in the gym. The other issue I kind of had was that these are white. When they're white, they stand out easily to anybody who's looking at you from a distance. Now, if you want to wear these things and you don't want anybody really noticing that you're wearing them, um, it kind of makes you know sense to have one that's more either your skin color or more um, the color of the mask you're wearing for COVID or the hat you're wearing. So these are black. These are black with the exception of a, a LED light that glows red or glows blue. This is definitely not the best case design ever because you have to flip it sideways. The Kotec had a very similar design to Apple, which they basically copied. And it just flips open at the top like dental floss. You pop these two things in there. They stick in there magnetically. They, they basically allow you to do it without even looking at it. It's very simple to do. This case requires a little bit more feeling in order to do it. And it also requires a little bit more to pull them out. Now, granted, the magnets are very strong. But um, again, with one hand, it can be a little bit of a, a challenge to subconsciously pull these things out of the case. So other than that, I mean, I really don't have a problem with the design. I actually like the fact that the button that's under the skull is recessed. It's harder to push. Um the power that these things allows you to get out of them, 3.5 hours, is pretty decent. Um, if I'm going on an airplane or if I'm going on someplace where, um, you know, I'm not going to be listening to them for a very long time, to tell you the truth, I would rather have wired 
wireless earbuds so that this way they're sharing their power from the common battery. The other main complaint about these besides the case is the fact that the uh, charging system is uh, micro USB. Micro USB, and I believe this is micro USB B. Now, what people were asking for was they wished that they had micro USB C because micro USB C is what you're using on the Galaxy phones. It provides faster charging. Um, some of the Apple products have it. So, what they, you know, there's, there's a movement by the Europeans to try to get everybody to be on the exact same standard. So, they want everybody to use USB C. They're talking shit to Apple, threatening to sue them. They're like, oh, yeah, well, we don't want you to use Lightning. We want you to use USB C. We want you to use USB C for your MacBooks. We want you to use it for everything else. Thing about it is, Lightning cables make Apple so much money that the last thing they'd want to do is number one, lose the money that they're making from the Lightning spec. And they also don't want their product looking anything like these cheap ass Samsungs and all these other Galaxy phones and Android phones. They don't want to use the same stuff. They don't want to make it that simple. They want their product to stand out. That's part of free market economics. If they want their product to uh, stand out, then the people themselves have to make a choice. They have to say, yeah, well, either I want the superior operating system of iOS or I'm going to go cheap and get some USB phone that charges and it's going to have Android in it. And unfortunately, I'm going to be stuck on Android, which is a substandard operating system compared to Apple iOS. So that's just your choice. Sound quality is really good. Bass performance is really good. Uh, Mid-range performance is decent on these. Um, I can't demonstrate the sound for you simply because in order to do that, I would have to, um, you'd have to listen to them because, these, you know, these are stereo headphones. There's no way to do that when you're recording basically in monaural. There's just no way to do it. But what I can say is I was listening to them. I was listening to some soundtrack music and I was impressed generally. I, ba I basically knew exactly what to expect. The drivers, in fact, were a little bit better than what I got with the Jim Pluses. Um, the only difference being that these are wireless twin beam. Um, but for the most part, the design of wireless twin beam has generally been perfected to the point where all of these things perform decently. So all I'm saying right now, if you want a decent pair of uh, wireless earbuds and you don't want to spend too much money, if you have a BJ's membership or if you have access to eBay or Amazon, these uh, Skull Candy Dimes are a decent headphone to buy, less than $30. And if you're lucky, you might be able to get them less than $25. If you're really lucky, you might be able to get them for $19.99. However, if in your shopping you see the Jib Pluses, you might want to consider getting those instead because the wired access to the same battery for both sides, unless you absolutely wanted wireless, in my opinion, makes them slightly better. But uh, I personally wanted these because when I use them on computers that have Bluetooth connections, it's very simple to connect these to the Bluetooth connection on those computers and to my phone. And, you know, for the times that I only need to use one, which almost never happens, these allow you to only use one while the other one's charging. Some people may prefer that. Some people may not. But um, that's just what it is. And they do have some level of water resistance, although they're not waterproof. You can't swim with them. You can't take them in the shower. You can only walk around in the rain with them. And that's about it. But, you know, it's a rubberized plastic design. But uh, they're not bad. They're definitely worth the money. So if you're looking for one of these, they make them in different colors. I chose, I wanted black specifically because it blends in with my mask, my hat, and this, that, and other. But, um... It's a good model, and BJ's has them on sale right now. Uh, you may be able to find them in other places. If you're an Amazon shopper, a lot of people are, you'll definitely be able to get them on Amazon, no problem. So that's all I had to say. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. This is just another little tech review. And um, if again, any questions, just feel free to ask, and I'll get right back to you.